parachuting in nutritious news for your undernourished, swollen bellies, this is Channel 77 News. Hi, I'm Tony Garrido, except when I'm in France. Our top story, search giant Google has been forced on the defensive today after it was revealed their Google Maps service had failed to feature the central African country of Chad, due reportedly to a lack of any discernible land features. The absence was flagged up late last week by 14-year-old Ohio student J.P. Heigl, who was pretending to do some research for his geography homework while in fact waiting for his older sister to leave the room so he could watch some pornography in peace. A spokesman for the Chad government said it was deeply disappointed by the fact that not a single town, road or land feature appeared on the popular mapping service. Weil ich arbeite mit einer Mannschaft drüben, das kenne ich und die Die verteilen die Probleme wann und die rufen also dreimal die Woche an und sagen uns mir Bescheid. Responding to the criticism, Google stated on their corporate website that they were truly sorry that their actions had caused offense. But speaking candidly, there's nothing f***ing there. So what do you expect? Seriously, would a f***ing mountain kill them? A main f***ing road? God forbid there was ever an abandoned military research facility or a series of ancient chalk carvings that looked like a pair of d**ks. Seriously. The search giant has since announced the Chad Wikimap project, enabling users to invent their own map of the country using a range of popular land features and mysterious futuristic buildings that disappointingly turn out to be nothing more than sewage treatment plants or small fields full of scrap metal. Coming up, Kim Kardashian, an ingrown toenail and rickets. I've had two out of three of those. That's next.